A daughter still searching for answers five years after her mom disappeared from her home in Faulkner County. Good evening and thank you for watching KRK 4 News at 10. I'm Gary Byrne Jr. Our Raleigh Birdwell went and spoke with the daughter in Raleigh. Five years is a long time. Has this family had any leads in this case? Well, Gary, the entire five years, Nikki Driscoll hasn't gotten any leads. The case went cold one year after she went missing and now the family is still left searching. A mother playing with her kids on the playground, knowing their grandma isn't around anymore to enjoy these moments. What scares me the most is I don't feel like my mom would go this long without any kind of contact with me. It all began in October of 2017. Kelly Evans went missing from her home in Faulkner County. This year marks five years since Nikki Driscoll heard her mother's voice. All I want is just closure. I just want to know what has happened and what's going on, you know, I just I just want to know anything. Nikki Driscoll says this case has been cold for about four years. It's just nothing. It's just nothing. No leads and you you eventually just kind of lose hope in that aspect of it. Driscoll partnered with the Morgan Nick Foundation to try to help bring answers to where her mom went. Morgan Nick went missing at the age of six from Alma in 1995. The foundation helped with putting a poster on the back of Driscoll's car. So it's like wherever I go, it's I, I kind of feel like my mom's with me. I get to see her face every day. And through it all, she has faith that answers will eventually be brought to light after being in the dark for so many years. I know that I serve a God that can do what law enforcement and social media cannot. So I believe that one day I will have answers. Nikki Driscoll says that she has been in close communication with the Faulkner County Sheriff's Office and she urges anyone with information about her mom to contact her or the police immediately. Reporting in studio, I'm Riley Birdwell. Back to you, Gary.